an interactive system for computer-assisted identification and volumetric analysis of enhancing components for brain tumors has been developed in our NIH-sponsored efforts. The system has been built as a standalone program which is light, only about 10 megabytes. It takes only a couple seconds to install the system to your computer. The system has a user-friendly interface. Here are two buttons to load post- and pre-contrast MRI scans to be splayed in two windows, respectively. The system can process DICOM image sequences, meta-image, analyze, nifty, etc., popular image, medical image formats. The status bar will show the information of the slices and the tumor data. Most functions are implemented in a pop-up menu. The first thing we do is generate the 3D volume of the post-contrast scan. Here it is not directly used for tumor segmentation, but can give the user a reference. Then we can select a set of slices of interest for tumor segmentation. This is because there appear to be no tumors at all in some slices, so we exclude them from further processing. For this example, we select SOI from slice 14 to slice 21. The next step is to do subtraction, which subtracts pre-contrast from the post-contrast slice to obtain the enhancements. Here we define 15% enhancements as a default. As can be seen, there are many false positives in addition to the tumors, but we will show that the results can be significantly improved. The subtraction can be automatically propagated to other slices using the same percentage parameter. It is also pointed out that the subtraction step can be simply skipped in the case that only a single modality is available. Subsequently, to further narrow down the search space, the user can select an ROI and propagate it automatically. Segments of the initial detections in the selected ROIs are automatically obtained with the contours being superimposed in each segment. For those tiny segments with only a very small number of voxels, they will simply be filtered out. This window shows the result after disregarding these tiny segments. Next, we apply a thresholding step to the ROI to refine the results. The user can move the mouse freely from left to right or right to left to control the thresholding parameter. Double-click once a good parameter is determined, and then we will repeat the segmenting and filtering. Here we can see that we get much better results than before. Again, we can propagate the thresholding to the rest of the slices. As can be seen, false positives still exist. In order to optimize the results, the system also offers an option for the user to edit the segments. Just click the segments that you intend to remove, and the segments will be excluded. This is a very quick and convenient way to prune the segments to remove false positives. The user can use the U key to undo a misoperation, or the Z key to restore the original status of the segments. Note that the pruning for a segment can also be automatically propagated to other slices, though this action should be taken very carefully because the positions of segments in different slices may vary significantly. After these steps, the remaining segments will be treated as tumors and can be extracted. Along with that, the number of voxels and volume of the tumor in each slice are automatically calculated. Also, as we can see from the output window, the system is able to generate two sets of tumor segments and calculations of tumor data one with the inner segments subtracted, and the other with those preserved. This way we can provide the user more options to evaluate the tumor. After that, the system can output an overall calculation of the tumor's voxel number and the volume for the whole scan. The two numbers correspond to the results with or without the inner segments subtracted. We can also generate the 3D volume of the tumor and visualize it in 3D space for observation and assessment in different viewpoints. This demonstrates that the system is able to produce both quantitative and qualitative measurement of the tumors. Now, if we repeat the brain volume reconstruction operation, we can get a 3D display of the tumor inside the entire brain structure. This can give the users an idea of the approximate location of the tumor. All of the calculated tumor data and the 3D view can be saved to disk. This data can be reloaded later as well. We have demonstrated how to use the system to segment a tumor from one scan. If we have segmented the tumor for two scans, say two scans acquired at different times for the same subject, the system is able to compare the two tumors in 3D space. The comparison results can tell the user how the tumor changed over time and how much. Say it may have decreased, increased, or maybe unchanged. This is therefore very useful for evaluating therapeutic responses and helping decision making in treatments. We can even give a 3D display of the difference of the two tumors.